I want to congratulate one of my favorite players, Ryan Suckup, for winning the Distinguished Young Alumni Award. You can't describe Ryan Suckup without describing his faith. He's an amazing friend, a great teammate, um, and, and just overall just a great man. I've always been so impressed with him because you always think there are more people like Ryan, the world would be a better place. Yeah, I grew up in uh, Hickory, North Carolina, and uh, kind of grew up uh, loving sports. Kind of played everything except football, actually. Go figure that, right? You know, normal kid, liked to play a lot of sports and had a lot of buddies to do it with, and um, that's kind of how I got into football. I remember back in 05 when I was hired at South Carolina and I saw that we had a kicker committed. And uh, when I went to visit him up in Hickory, North Carolina, I just sort of asked him, you know, why he committed. And he said he fell in love with the University of South Carolina on his visit and he's happy to be a Gamecock. Auburn tried to get him, but he hung with us. I knew that I wanted to major in business and uh, South Carolina had a really good business school. And so it was a really good fit for me. Um, just kind of all, all the things aligned. and. Uh, it was a pretty easy decision. You see the guy, he's you know, 6'4", 225 pounds, and looks like a movie star. Our coach, Mark Smith, at the time, he would come over and be like, Mo, Mo, the kicker is lifting more than you. And I kind of look at him and be like, you seen our kicker? I first met Ryan when I uh, was coaching in Kansas City. I made a trip to South Carolina and went to work him out on their on their stadium field there and just having that short conversation from the locker room to the field I thought all he needs to do is kick well because he just struck me as the kind of guy that, that we were looking for. He is a great guy, uh, one of those people who is just kind of salt of the earth and you enjoy being around him. He was Mr. Irrelevant, last player chosen in the draft. He was a true pro from the get-go. He used to feel uh, bad for his wife Paige because she'd be waiting in the parking lot for Ryan, he'd be the last one out but it's because he was trying to do the right thing. He's just always been the kind of guy that doesn't take anything for granted, he doesn't take his body for granted, doesn't take his gifts for granted, and he, he feels like he needs to do the best he can with them, not just for himself, but for the people that he has to be loyal to. Another piece I think that people don't see in Ryan that maybe I've seen is how he's handled adversity. You know, he got cut from the Chiefs, and then the week after he got cut, he returned back to Kansas City uh, to play for the Titans against the Chiefs. I think he kicked five field goals that game and we beat him and it was a great homecoming for him. The way that he was able to you know, be successful in the field without having a chip on his shoulder um, just speaks to the kind of character that Ryan has. He is a great husband, a great father. He is authentic to himself. He is very true to who God made him to be. He's like a son to me, but he's like a brother to me, and he's a friend to me. And one of the things I love about football is you can make those kinds of friendships that are lifetime friendships. I'm very appreciative for, for my time at the University of South Carolina. Uh, I'm very grateful for the experiences I had uh, to play football there. I'm very grateful for the opportunity I had to get a great education there. Obviously, I was able to meet my wife there, and now we have a great little family. It's a great fraternity, and uh, us Gamecocks stick together, and uh, it's something I think we're all really proud of, and it sure has been fun cheering the university on, uh, on and off the field over the last almost 10 years now since I graduated. When you look at the what it means to be a distinguished young alumni, um, that mold fits Ryan Suck up very well. I think that Ryan's influence through football is, is a very, very small piece of what he will do in the big picture here. It's just kind of one of those things where you sit back and say, what's next? What, what is he going to do next? Is he going to you know, make, break the NFL record for the longest field goal, 65 yards? Or you know, is he going to go to you know, a church and inspire the next Ryan suck up to come? Congratulations, Ryan. You're, you're a good person as well as the best kicker in the NFL. And this award is something you certainly deserve. To receive the Young Alumni Award is, um, like I said, it's very humbling. Uh, it's, a, it's a great honor. I think, um, you know, you look back and there, there's so many, um, you know, great people that have, have received this award and I'm sure there were, you know, very, very many uh, worthy people as well. So uh, to be chosen and, and to receive this award, I, I'm very grateful. I'm very appreciative and um, certainly it's a tremendous honor. And my mom's going to be really proud. <laughs>